hi viewers you're welcome to my channel this is yinky today this video is targeted towards solving some common arm hole and sleeve problems and the first thing is to get your measurement right so we'll be talking about some basic measurements you need to get right so this is your sleeve length you can take your desired sleeve length so this is your bicep circumference this is how you take your bicep circumference your or your upper arm circumference then this is how to take your arm or circumference arm or circumference make sure it is loose a little bit so that you you be there will be comfort so then you take you have a standard for your bicep length bicep length is not what you will take there is a standard for it and that's why i have this chart for small medium large and extra large so follow this chart to take to draft your sleeve and you won't have any problem so from this chart if your bicep circumference is 8 to 10 inches is between 8 to 10 inches you are using bicep length of three and a half inches if your bicep circumference is 11 to 14 you are using bicep length of four and a half to five inches and so on and so forth so follow this chart if you want to draft your sleeve so you can just study this chart and choose the one that suits your measurement so i have for medium size also four and a half to five inches and i have for large and for extra large so study this chart and choose the one that fits you so the for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be drafting a sleeve so the round sleeve for that i'll be drafting now is 12 inches the sleeve length is 10 the bicep length is five and the circumference is 14. so i'll be drafting that so that you will understand how that 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 how it will be applicable so the first thing to do right now is to take the your get your starting point so i'm going to rule a line to get my starting point so after ruling the line i'll take the sleeve length so the sleeve length since the sleeve length is 10 inches and the round sleeve is 12 inches this is for a medium sized person so i'll also take rule a line at that point that i measure the sleeve length then the next thing to do is to place my tape measure and to take my bicep length this bicep is very very important if your bicep length is very short it will it will be the arm will be tight and if it is very loose the arm will be flappy so you need to get it right so for medium size it is from four and a half to five inches so i'll be using five inches for the purpose of this tutorial so five inches for my bicep length so then at that point, I'm going to rule a line also. So imagine using three inches for bicep length here, there will be a problem. So right now, so that's why you must take note of the bicep length measurement very well. It is very essential. If you are taking for large, it will increase. If you are taking for a smaller size, it will reduce. So take note of the bicep length circumference. So... And the next thing to do at that bicep length you are going to take the circumference i have input the circumference divided by 2 which is um, 14 divided by 2 is 7. i have done that and on the round sleeve is 12 12 divided by 2 is 6. then you connect the points together so connect the points together i have connected the points together with a straight line then i can add my allowance right now after i have gotten the main measurement so from here the next thing to do is to connect the bicep to the sleeve cap to the sleeve cap so i'm going to do that with a straight line so i'm not really going to deal on this much but um, the the major thing i want to do but we are still going to make draft it out so the sleeve cap will be drafted out by measuring this line and dividing it into four the way i have a video on my channel that explain this better how to draft a perfect sleeve so you can check that in the description box so you are, as i said you are going to divide this into four then the, for on this point you come up by one inch after you on this point you come up by half inch here you come down by half inch then you connect it together from the sleeve cap just connect it like so i'm going to use my free hand to do that you can use your french curve to do that then connect it to the 
to the end of the sleeve like so so you can do the connection you can perfect it with your hand or better still you can still use your french cuff then the next thing to do is to add all my allowance i'm going to add allowance on the sleeve cap and i'm also going to add allowance on the side so the, that's what i'm going to do right away so on the side seam uh, i added allowance of one and a half inch or you can add one inch depends on how you want it and then um, on this the m line i added one and on the sleeve cap i added half inch so having done that the sleeve has been drafted out the complete sleeve has been drafted out so the major measurement that we need to get right here is our bicep length. Our bicep length, we must get it right in order not to have problem while fixing our sleeve. So right now, you're going to notch the middle, notch it out in order to be able to match it to with the mid shoulder. So this is the sleeve that has been drafted out. I'm not going to draft any other for the, the, for the back. This is for the front, then. So, just go ahead and follow this measurement chart for either small size, medium size, large or extra large. And you're going to minimize problems in fixing sleeve and arm issues. So, here is the basic bodies. The essence of this is to show you how a perfect sleeve can be fixed into a perfect ammo. So the basic bodies has been drafted out with the breast point, the underbust, and the waist. So the next thing to do is to get my upper chest. Also, make sure you get your upper chest measurement right. You know, the the you, the upper chest measurement determines your ammo circumference. So for small size and medium size, come up from your breast point by two and a half inches come up from your best point by two and a half inches for small and medium size i'm talking of uk size come up by two and a half inches and if it is for large and extra large you can come up by three inches from your breast point to avoid um, inconveniences so three inches is okay for large and extra large and two and a half for medium size so for the purpose of this tutorial since i'm drafting for a medium size person i'm coming up by two and a half inches and at that point i'm going to rule a line to indicate that then i'm going to label that as my upper chest then you are going to take your shoulder measurement input your shoulder measurement on the shoulder line In the shoulder measurement will be divided by two and the shoulder measurement I i'm using for this tutorial is 14 inches divided by two is seven then get rule really a line from that point come down by half inch for the shoulder slope then on that point after the shoulder slope rule really a line connect it to the upper chest so that line if i measure it now it will be seven inches so then you can take your ammo curve on that just divide it into two divide seven inches on this line into two you have three and a half inches then then come out here by half inch then place your ammo curve just place your ammo curve like so then you have your ammo drafted out please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and then turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so from here after drafting out the hammo the next thing to do is to input your measurement maybe the, the from the bare bust point input your circumference your bust circumference on the upper chest add half inch to the bust circumference and input it then connect it so since we don't need that now, we are focusing on the ammo, so I will leave that. So let's focus on the ammo. How this sleeve that I cut out will, will fit in into this ammo without any excesses. So right now, the ammo circumference I took for this tutorial is 18 inches. So I'm going to take the measurement here now. This is the ammo circumference because this is where you will put, you will place your sleeve. So 18 divided by 2 must be 9. So we must have 9 here. Can you see? This is 9 without, in fact, it is perfect. So if I had my extra allowance now, maybe one and a half inch or two inches, and that will be 
for the sewing allowance. But the perfect circumference here is 9 times 2, which is 18 inches, which is for the ammo circumference. Can you see? I take that again. 9 inches. Perfect ammo. So, then when you, when you place your sleeve now, when you place your sleeve now, if you take, if I take the measurement on the sleeve cap also, you know, I have added allowance to the sleeve cap. So, this is 9. 9 is here. With the allowance, allowance of 1.5 inch, can you see? So, the part I'm crossing is the allowance on the sleeve. So you can go like so, fix your sleeve. You can see this is a perfect sleeve into a perfect ammo. So you go like this, like this. So you can see where it stops. So it is it stops at where the allowance will be added. This is the allowance on the sleeve and the allowance on the ammo. You can see it's a perfect one. So there is no problem if you can follow the measurement. I mean this this chart. The measurement chart that I, I gave you, just snapshot it, keep it somewhere, and use it whenever you need to you need you need to draft a sleeve. So this is this this is it, and I think we have come to the end of this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, and also turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you in my next video.